the government's newest monthly employment report comes out this morning. Joblessness, as you know, has soared since the coronavirus pandemic began. But Wall Street, even despite yesterday's more than 800 point slide in the Dow, is booming. Google, Amazon and Apple are all worth more than a trillion dollars. Mark Strassman looks at the disconnect between investors and hard hit workers. Wow. It's ridiculous that we have to stand in line like this. COVID America has forced the jobless to redefine success. Forget the dream job. Find a paycheck. I had the dream job and because of COVID, I, I lost it. Eric Beltran's a beer expert. And sure, lots of 26-year-olds believe they are. But he worked as a brewer. Beltran was furloughed in mid-March, laid off in late May. His unemployment benefits abruptly stopped. He's gone four weeks without one nickel in income. At this point, it is just trying to find a, uh, trying to find a safe job. A paycheck? Yeah. How stressful is it? I don't get that interview. I don't get the job. I don't get unemployment. It just weighs on me more and more. Since mid-March in COVID America, more than 59 million people have filed unemployment claims. In that same time, the New York Stock Exchange has grown more than 41 percent, driven largely by tech stocks. It's created big winners uh, and big losers. Mark Zandi, chief economist at Moody's Analytics, credits record low interest rates for rocketing stock prices. But half of Americans own no stocks. About a fifth of Americans are uh, uh, working less and getting paid less than they did before the pandemic. So that's the real result of the pandemic. The stock market is uh, just uh, completely disconnected from that. Wall Street means nothing to the Main Street where Eric Beltran oh, so still looks for work. Is the economy doing any better for you? For me, no, <laughs> absolutely not. It's great that, that Apple and Tesla are flying high. Um, doesn't really change the fact that, you know, I have to move in with my parents. Beltran really should qualify for unemployment. He's trying to work through a bureaucratic issue with the state of Georgia. He went from uh, making $4,000 a month in benefits to zero. And remember, this is a guy who describes himself as relentlessly optimistic. But he admits, Gail, it's starting to get to him. Yeah, and who can blame him? But someone's watching him right now. They're looking for somebody who's relentlessly optimistic. I hope somebody reaches out to him because of that story. Thank you very much, Mark.